Hello all, Havoc here. So, immediately after I stopped recording, this happened. I mean, as soon as I hit the button, these snapped, fell, broke, and then this fell over, and... Yeah, alright. So... Yeah, that, that, that just happened. That probably doesn't come as a surprise, but it... it it kind of did to me. I was like, okay. The part that caught me off guard was it taking out the pistons. <laughs> so, yeah. I really need to replace this floor. Uh, that's a lot of work. Not really. We can just do what we did last time. Project it, right? Paint the whole thing red. Bob it out. And then... Well, in any case, uh, let's get this repaired up real quick while Bob takes that apart. And it, there we go. All right, so actually, you know what? Hold on, hold the phone. Kind of need this open anyway, so I can bring dig over, mini dig over. So. Right, I'll leave that open like that for now. Let's get dig over here. Let's go stop by the med bay first. And boom. Bottles. Okay, we're good. Where you at, Dig? There he is. How are you doing on uranium? I don't exactly, uh... Okay, you got 10. That's fine. No fuel. How about now? Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Battery. Auto. Is the reactor on too? Nope. Alright, there we go. How are we doing on power? Alright. Okay, so. Um, we need to get this guy down here. We need to make a hole. Basically, what we need to do is we need to dig a hole from here. That way. Towards, uh, this conveyor tube here. Which leads, I believe, we should have an opening over there, too. So, um, if I do something like this, maybe? Is oh, oh. Could this work? I'm not worried about messing up the floor because like said we should be replacing it with a uh, heavy grid anyway. So if this works, I'm gonna be super stoked. Let's take a look. Oh, no. All right. Yeah, Bob, come on, man. There. I'm impatient. I got stuff to get done. Control, control. All right, well, let's get down here. So, the cool part is we got that nice little uh, 
stripe above us to follow so we know directly where we're going. Alright, so it's nice that we're able to get some stuff done and not just constantly bombarded for a minute. Although we have a ton of stuff out there we need to get cleaned up, so it's kind of like right in the middle of where we need to be for things. <laughs> Oh, you guys were mentioning that Skyhook's parking job is probably not the best idea for what we should be doing for that. I totally agree, yeah, but it is also very temporary. I don't plan on keeping him parked that way for very long. I just want to get these arms built so we can start working on uh, doing getting Mutt built uh, on one side and getting um, Razorback built on the other side. All right, so that should be more than enough. Okay, so I'm gonna come over this way and connect up to that. Okay, so we're gonna have to do some shenanigans to get this piped in right because that drops down. Probably just bring it around. That'll that'll work. Hey, I should use conveyor junction somewhere over here. Hey, 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 hey! That's my foot back there. All right. Okay, so let's take this back to the wall. And then we're going to want to make a right turn when we get back here. I kind of wish I could pan the camera up a little bit. make sure I can stay on course. Yeah, I drifted off a lot. Get out of the room change shape. That's quite possibly the case. Uh, let's paint. Yeah, the room change shape. Okay. All right, let's paint. Uh, the orange. Actually, the, the silver stood out pretty good. I think we're going to go to. Oh, we need to repaint this. Okay, so shift paint. Shift paint. And I put four. One, two, three, four. And paint. Ah, it's fine. Uh, we did what? Ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay. One, two, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, that's like, <laughs> uh, spot on. 
excuse me, Bob. Your turn's coming, buddy. Just got a long list. Got to wait in line. Come back over here. Okay, so we got to drill to there, basically. Oh, mini dig. I brought you back up here. I didn't realize. Okay, so. Okay, control. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Painting with colors and counting with havoc. Alright. Painting by numbers with havoc. There we go. More better. Alright. I have to do some greebles on that back wall to clean that back wall back up. That's going to be fine. I just really like to get this mapped out and done. My mini dig has been fantastic. Oh, I can see the crossbar coming up on it already. All right. So that's that. What's our battery at? 72%, that's fine. Get you dropped off here. And those are off. Let's turn all the lights off. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the battery into recharge and call that good. So it's going to burn up the uranium. That's fine, but I want to get that battery charged up. It also gives us the ability later to call on it if we want. All right, so those are our build bays. Pretty respectable in size, um, considering they're going to be like how Skyhook is right now, up in the air while we build them. So. I think, I think this is going to work. I think it's going to look pretty cool when it's done. All right. Uh, actually, stop with that. We need to get over here and get this part done. Okay. So, um, we need to make sure that this is anchored. So we cut this free. That piston doesn't come out. That that'll that that makes me feel good right there. All right, so we're gonna cut right here. And we'll throw in one of these guys. And let's get to work. five again. Alright, let's give ourselves um, probably a medium. Seven. Medium should work. Oh yeah, spot on. I'm going to put a junction here. And actually, you know what I'm going to put here? A junction and a bob. I started the series out not wanting to use too many bobs. Now I'm using them all over the place. All right. Um, and then back to five. No, three. Nine. Uh, so we put this guy like that. 
will still keep that port going that direction. So you, as I add them, I want to set them up so I don't lose them later. Uh, grinding color. Do I want to grind neutral blocks? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Just got my helmet stuck there. All right, so then we can use longs. Actually, where that lines up, I think I'm going to put a junction here, too. Because that lines up going right out towards the, uh, the landing pad. So that could be convenient later on. In fact, we're going to do that. This is going swimmingly well. Actually, take that out and put another long in. Yeah. These tubes are fantastic. To the mod author who created this, if you ever hear my words, thank you so much. All right, so from here, I'm going to do... I was thinking about putting a T right here and putting bobs right there. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, kind of changed my mind here in the last second. Come on now. Okay, um, let's go ahead and throw. So that'll be five bobs right here, what I have planned. That'll be Yeah, so if I go here, and we do nine. Yeah, like that. That's one, two, three, four, and five. If we need more, um, we'll add them. We can just build off this manifold of bobs here. Um, But then for this direction this way, we can just come right off of this bob here. So six. And six. All right, and then for up, that doesn't work. Uh, this is where the drills, or the pistons come in. So I'm going to have to reset those pistons, it looks like, with the drill action. Okay, so piston's already on there, so 9, 7. Is it going to let me place it? No. All right. Trying to be gentle. I mean, we have yet to use voxel hands this whole series, so, I mean. Seven, come on. Wish I could see better. I don't see any, oh, there they go. Fine. 
line. Get that drill in there. Oh, come on, why? Oh, right there, I think. I think that was it. I hope that was it. That was not it. Alright. Um, oh, this is annoyance. Um, so we're all clear. Or we're all so. Can we just put a block? Alright, so there it is. Aha! Alright, for, for future reference. Just place a couple blocks. There it is. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and tension her on this time because last time they got super sketchy, right? Alright, so now they're piped in though. Alright, so what happened out here? Oh, it's still going on. Okay. Alright, well... 15.8. There's a beacon out... Oh! Okay. Wow, this is a mess over here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come out here and do some repair work. Oh my goodness. Well, I obviously still have a projector on. Um, do you guys still have power? Yeah, okay. Just check and make sure those are plugged in still. Yeah, if that gets severed, that's gonna suck for these turrets. Whoa. How do you guys feel about that? Alright. So they've recently added that uh, pick stuff up mod. Um, it will get installed. I have it in my list to get installed. So I will be getting that going here pretty soon. Got what, three crash tributes out here? Two tributes and four interdictors. All right, our turrets are doing their jobs. Nee, 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 nee. <laughs> Take one to the knee. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm just going to basically repeat everything we were doing. Oh, while well, that's doing that, come in here. On fly mode. Okay. Wrong button. I want to work on this side here. Just going. And there we go. Uh, well, I didn't mean to do build planner, so hold on. Okay, build planner's empty. Uh, control panel. Oh, wait, on. Fly. Fly mode. I didn't turn ten uh, tensioners on on that piston. That's a problem. Um, grind color. 
And boy. Okay. Alright, so I get this redug. It's better than doing it by hand, though. Okay, and then your turn. Grind if all the stuck. I need to find the config file for this. There's a there's actually um, a location you can go to for for the bobs, and you can set their defaults. So you wouldn't have to do fly mode, grind if all the stuck, their color, all that stuff every single time. So um, I just <laughs> always forget to do it. So. I think that was good. Oh wait, did we turn it on? Yeah, okay. And then last but not least is you. I know the drill's done at the top, so I want to get these last one done. So, grind if all the stuck. Grinding color. And volume. That'll work. Eight. And reverse. So yeah, one of the possible connections we could put for uh, sky skyhook is putting a connector on this. That is a possibility. I thought we would have been a little bit higher than that. Throw two more on. May as well just put another piston on there. All right, seven. Right, let's try that one last time. I just basically I'm trying to get into here. There, it'll do it right there. Oh my goodness, I should have just put another piston on there. Oh my goodness gracious. And reverse. Come on, get in there. There it is. All right, so now if we bring all these down, what are we looking at for height? Compared to 
down here on the deck. So four, paint. Alright, it's not too bad. Alright, so if we run... This guy here. Right? And then, like, a series of pistons. How many pistons would we need? Alright, we need to run that back up, actually. Um... Well, that's never disconcerting at all. All right. I didn't put sure tensioner on that last one. All right, so now we're gonna put pistons all the way to here. And share tension on all of those. Okay. So nine. Oops, I want to add that gray. We got tension turned on on these two as we go, because otherwise it's going to get super wonky fast. Um, one more? I think we get, might get two more in there. Oh my goodness, really? Four? That's, uh, that's a lot. Get in there. Yeah, that's, that's good. Alright, so we gotta get tensioners turned on on all these. Tensor, sorry. I always say tensioner. Okay, that's already on. All right, cool. So the idea is, we got this guy here like this. I know I'm running out of energy. You have this guy here. Then I'm gonna put a rotor. Does it need to be an advanced rotor? But I think that's what we're gonna use. Okay, and then we're going to put I just took that off of there, didn't I? Don't need cockpits, I need this. Alright, I'll put this guy on there. Uh, we're going to lock the rotor for now. Alright. And then projector goes on here. Oh, that was very disturbing. Okay, and then facing towards the door. Okay, so the idea is, is that we build a grid up here. Okay. Then we lower down this this one, like four blocks. We've set its minimums to work like that. So if we come in here, its minimum distance is going to go to, say, five. Let's go with seven. Let's see what that looks like. We need to go charge real quick. Uh, seat? I thought we had a control seat over here somewhere to sit on.
This will work. Alright. So that's going to go to 7. That doesn't work. So let's go ahead and take it to 5. Basically, we want to make sure that that isn't going to hit. So now that's at this position, we can lower all of these down now. We could, let's say, if we were building, let's say, like Scarab or Mutt or any of those guys, we can have this lower to the ground so we're not way up in there in the air. And then uh, when we're all said and done, um, I want to go ahead. I want to make sure that's clear. I think so. So you... I need to do, we need some naming convention here. Oh, it's so sketchy watching it do that. Okay. reason I'm doing this is so I know to make a group for these and I don't have to make the second one this complex I only need one of these to be super complex like this so the next one can just basically do the up and down part but this one here I want to be able to all right Let's go ahead and stop burning hydrogen and come down here. And then we do roof one, all goes into one group. If I do uh, all if I do make the other one complicated like this, then that's why I'm going to have this label, labeled one. We're going to basically bay one and bay two. Oh, get out of the whole havoc. Turn your dampeners on would help. I don't know how I bumped that. All right, let's get a button on our toolbar. Uh, I guess we're going to put it here because all that dirt's in the way. Uh, groups only. Roof one. Reverse. Oh, what's the worst that could happen? Uh, hit it. Oh, come on. Yes. It can stop right about now. It would be perfect. Oh my goodness. I, that couldn't have worked out any better. Okay, so the idea is, is that we can literally print, uh, let's say, a Razorback facing this direction, extend it out, rotate it, and set it down right in front of the door, ready to launch. Unless that happens. But that's the idea. That's why we put a rotor on the projector too. In fact, we could actually just print a Razorback right here and then retract that and get it out of the way as well. So yeah, that, <laughs> uh, that's my hairbrain idea. Um, hold on. Can I... This ought to be sketchy, right? What's the worst could happen? Okay, good. Okay, projector. Bay one. And builders. Toggle them all off. 
off. Projector bay one, blueprints. Razorback mark two, underscore one. Bay one, key projection. I can't see what's going on. Oh yeah, we can do it from up here, I forgot. We won't be able to see what's going on there either. Uh, we have a panel up here, right? There we go. This will work good. Okay. Vertical offset can be there. Horizontal offset, like so. I'm sliding off of that. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. <laughs> I don't know what that shenanigans is about, but okay. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of scared to know what that shenanigans is about. All right, so vertical offset, bring it. Down, forward offset, say right about there. Let's see what that looks like. Oh wow, we're like way off. But you get an idea of how big of a space we get to build with. We get we can print a razor back pretty easily in here. Um, I don't know if the rotating thing actually is going to work. I think we're going to hit <laughs> anything we rotate to. Lock off. Yeah, see, the nose will go right through the voxel. What if we go the other way? Uh, we might be able to do it if we were out there by the door, but the where we're at right now won't work. All right, so overall, I think uh, I think it worked. So I'm pretty stoked. I th I think. Uh, I think it's 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 a it's a pretty cool concept. And if anything else, we could literally print it like this out there, and then pull it back and print another one right here, and use the same blueprint over and over again, kind of thing. So, um, yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty excited. That turned out pretty well. Um, I mean, it, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was the extending out part worked better than I had planned. So that was really exciting. So I appreciate you guys coming out and enjoying the episode with me. I enjoyed it, so I hope you did. This is Havoc. Have fun and keep gaming.